That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about a new classic, Sonic the Hedgehog, which uh, opens in theaters on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2020, courtesy of Paramount. I was excited to see this film somewhat because um, back in 1991 when this uh, game came out, uh, my parents bought me a Sega Genesis, mm -hmm. and this was the only game I had on the console, so I, I would play it incessantly, um, and I obviously liked it, mm -hmm. and I do like Jim Carrey, oh, yes. and James Marsden, mm -hmm. and Tika Sumter. Tika, I, I know, like Tika I, I know you do, she's okay. Um, you never saw her play Michelle Obama. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's worth But I know Janet kind of Jackson's opinion. Miss You Much is featured in that film. Yes. Uh, and that's all that is really important. Anyhow. Uh, anyhow, I was not excited to see, see this film. And in fact, until right before the credits, I had forgotten it was a video game. Uh, and then all, a, a wave of strange nostalgia came back about that commercial. The, the Sega! That's yeah. Right. That's really right. So, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. We should try to describe the plot because I think it's funny. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So Sonic is from an alternate universe, and his his uh, he's in danger. Well, he's he's special to that universe. He has these, his powers, which are to be very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and he his mentor is this this owl owl named Long uh, Longfeather Longclaw Longclaw whatever. Longclaw. She's his protector. She um, gives him a bag of <laughs> rings, and these rings allow him to jump through like a portal to different. Well, no, he fucks up right away because he. He uses his. Well, powers. let's tell the story quickly. So he's in danger. So his owl protector gives him these rings and says, like, you can use these rings to jump to different times and spaces. So she sends him to Earth. Well, she's murdered. Okay, but we need to tell the story. Okay. So okay. She, he's sent to Earth and she tells him, like, you have to stay, like, out of sight to be safe. So he ends up in um, Montana. Montana. So for 10 years, he kind of like runs around in this town without much uh, fanfare. Observe, but is very lonely. And but he's very lonely. He chooses several people to observe, including the local sheriff. Uh, so he spends his time kind of like, like uh, he's like a peeping Tom kind of. Basically. And one of those people is the local, the town sheriff played <laughs> by James Marsden. Tom Wachowski. Who Sonic refers to as the Donut, Donut Lord. Lord because he eats donuts a lot. And talks to them. Although James Marsden doesn't look like he would eat donuts. Not at so all. That, but it's still cute. I bet he spit those out. It's still cute. So Sonic um, is playing a game of baseball by himself and gets emotional when he realizes, like, I'm so lonely. So he starts running around really fast and creates this big, like... Um, surge. Like, power surge that causes, like all the power like the Pacific Northwest to go out. Yes. So now it's on the military's radar mm -hmm. and they need to figure out what it is. So they bring in this like rogue, like scientist mm -hmm. who also works for the government. Dr. Ivo Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik played by James Carey. Mm -hmm. um, so Dr. Robotnik immediately swoops in and tries to find Sonic. Mm -hmm. And he's successful, but Sonic gets away with James Marsden's character, and they have to go to San Francisco because mm -hmm. Sonic lost his rings in San Francisco through a portal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, they sort of battle it out. And, in, you know, it's very predictable. Like, obviously, uh, Sonic <coughs> is successful in evading Dr. Robotnik, and Dr. Robotnik is defeated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Who directed this film? It's the directorial debut of Jeff Fowler. Okay. Um, well, that's all we need to say about that. What did you like about this movie? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is Dr. Robotnik. He is giving, like, exactly what you would pay for. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Faye Dunaway. Yeah. I, and I <laughs> mentioned, I think Jim Carrey, as he uh, continues his career, will um, sort of mimic like a Faye Dunaway in that. Like, every role will be the same. <laughs> this is his first uh, theatrical feature since 2016. The last thing I saw was that uh, Polish film he did, True Crimes, with the, with the Greek director. 
that did that premiere at the Warsaw Film Festival. Well, hopefully he was relaxing and enjoying his money, but uh, it's good to see him. Like he, he definitely still has it. Oh yeah, he yeah. like lights up the screen. He really does. It's fun to watch him. I was because I found Sonic the character. Well, we're not talking. We're talking about things we like. So what else did you like besides James? Uh, I think James Marsden is very. Um, I like James Marsden. Yeah, he's. You know, he's aged very well. He looks great. He looks great. Uh, I liked that his uh, he had a, a black wife, even though Tika Sumter had nothing to do. But Tika had nothing to as do. As you had commented, like, for the number of white ladies we've seen in roles like that with nothing to do, it was kind of refreshing to it see. It was refreshing to see, yeah. Like, it, there was not much ado about his wife being black. Although there's a subplot. Which there shouldn't be. Right. Uh, there's a subplot that's interesting because her sister played by, and we didn't remember her, la her name for... Uh, like a boss, Natasha Rothwell, who we know from Insecure, Insecure, um, and Love Simon plays Tika's sister, who hates James Marsden's For character, reasons, and it's not made clear why. Because he seems fine. He seems like a great catch. <laughs> Like, because he even makes something. And like, Tika seems to really adore him. Yeah. So it, it's kind of odd, but she is funny as like the hateful sister. She is, and I like seeing her. I would like to see her not as more than just like plucky comic relief. But she's the same everything. Overall, um, for things I like, I I was not expecting to sort of like be as amused as I was by this film. So oh, like overall, I think like this film did a good job of keeping this bitter adult. Uh, I was not, yeah, I was not expecting to laugh, especially with a, a screening that had a lot of children. There were a lot of children in the theater making noises, uh, but, but they seemed to enjoy it too. Jim Carrey, I don't know if this movie did not have Jim Carrey. As as nice nice and likable and beautiful as James Marsden and Tika Sumter are, they they are Cornball Collins and sure sure, but it but it but it works in contrast because Jim Carrey's a lot. He is he is a lot, but I love it. I but he's too. a lot. Okay, what didn't work for me? Sonic. Uh, Sonic. That damn thing looks so fake. And after, and I know there was controversy about the original rendering of Sonic. But I almost feel like that initial, because people thought it looked terrifying, that actually probably would have worked better because Sonic looks so fake. I think like a modern, like animated version of Sonic in a video game would would look better than Sonic in this damn movie. And then the man who voices Sonic. Ben Schwartz. Oh my God. Like he just like a grating voice. I couldn't. He's from Parks and Rec and Bojack Horseman. So he, you know, he's, he's got some he has a great voice, voice work, yeah. but like, oh, it's Sonic. Because <clears throat> also Sonic is not a very, um, he's kind of dumb and annoying. Like he makes choices that don't make sense. Yeah, but then he's also smart. Like he understands a lot of pop culture things. Well, and, well, this hedgehog seems to know a lot about how we do shit on Earth, but then also makes really reckless uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, yeah, I don't think... I was far less uh, disappointed by this film than I thought I would have been. Even with James Jim Carrey in it, I was more impressed with the film than I thought it would, I would be. Okay, I you're not you don't agree. I I I laughed more than I thought I would, and uh, that's what I'm saying. For sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say about this movie. It's so damn basic. It is Junkie XL did the score. Who did Mad Max Fury Road? Um, and it was lensed by Stephen Winden, who's done several Fast and the Furious movies, which I guess makes sense. Um, I almost wish that the... Po okay, so, it, I mean, since I need to talk for a little bit more, I think... Um, I kind of... Because the plot is very basic, like, so, so basic. And because the CGI of Sonic is so bad, I, I, I feel like maybe it would have been better if Sonic would have come out of, like, the video game. So, yeah, like that would have been the plot point. Like the the like the video game exists in this reality, and Sonic has escaped from it, and he looks like a sixteen bit cartoon or something. Right, because the, because the setup they give him it actually has, they they there's violence in it because this owl gets shot with an arrow, but then it doesn't act like it because you were like, is she hurt? Sure. Uh, I, I think not to scare the children, but. Yeah, I don't know why they even needed to do that. I actually don't know what else to say about this film. It's it like, you know, it's a movie, like like, like a live action movie it's, about a damn video game it, hedgehog. It's a film. super fast. So it does. it's not supposed to make sense, so there's no point trying to analyze any of it, except that I think, I don't know how much they had to pay Jim Carrey, or... <laughs> I, I don't know why this man decided to do this movie, but I'm glad he did, because yeah. it, he definitely elevated it way past... <laughs> 
what it would be if he weren't in it. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I think he saw an opportunity to, you know, to do something silly. Yeah. And he, he definitely like gives hundred percent. It just, it made me realize how much I kind of do miss him mm -hmm. on screen. But uh, I would give this film two and a half out of five stars. I give this film, I give this film one and a half out of five <gasps> stars. Oh, that it's, that's closing only on those fumes of things that I like in Jim Carrey, but yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.